Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Uh, kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Uh, now I'm going to solve this particular problem from chapter 2, 7th edition Engineering Statics by Miriam and Craig. Uh, in this problem it is said that the force F has a magnitude of 2 kN. This force F has a magnitude of 2 kN and it is directed from A to B. Right, so 2 kN force uh, F is acting from point A to B and we are required to calculate the projection FCD of F onto the line CD and determine the angle between F and CD. So, we are required to determine the projection of this F vector on this CD line, right? And we have to find the angle between this uh, F and this CD line. So, now we know that uh, we can find the projection magnitude by using the broad product concept, right? So, we can say that the projection of F along CD magnitude, this is this is magnitude, right? Will be equal to F vector into the unit vector along CD, right? So, this is let us say equation 1. So, from dot product we can get the magnitude of the projection of this force vector along this CD line, right? So, let us say this is our equation 1, right? And now we can find that F vector as we can see that in this equation 1 we have to find this F vector, right? Since we are given only this F magnitude. So, in order to find this F vector we know that we can represent this F in this form that is F magnitude times the unit vector from A to B since this force F is uh, acting from A to B. Right. So, first we have to find the, the Cartesian vector representation of this F vector which has a magnitude of 2 kN, right. So, I can write that this is 2 times N A B since the magnitude is 2 kN. So, we can write that this F vector, this will be in kN remember, right. So, this is 2 times that unit vector A N A B and we can further write that unit vector is a B vector divided by A B magnitude, right. So, this is N A B. So, we can write it as 2 and to find this we have to find the coordinates of point A and B and we have to define our coordinate system, right. So, let us say that uh, this is our coordinate system. Let us say this is my x axis, this is my y axis and this is my z axis, right. So, now we have to find the coordinates of point A, B, C and D according to this coordinate system. This is our origin, right? So, now let us say that to write the coordinates of point A is we can see that this point A is located on the x axis, is right? So, this means that the uh, y and z coordinates of point A are 0 and this point A is at a distance of 0.2 meters from that origin, right? So, this is 0.2. So, these are the coordinates of point A, right? Similarly, the coordinates of point B. So, as we can see that to reach that point B, we have to travel uh, 0.4 meters in the positive y direction. So, I will write 0.4 and then we have to travel uh, 0.2 meters along the positive z axis, is right? So, I will write 0.2 and as we can see that this point B is in the y z plane, right? So, there is no need to travel in the x direction, right? So, this is the x coordinate is 0. Similarly, we can find that uh, C coordinates, right? So, the in, to reach this point C, we have to travel 0.4 meters. This length is 0.4 in the positive x direction. So, I will write 0.4 and then we have to travel 0.2 meters in the z direction and there is no need to travel along the y direction, right? Since this point C is in the x z plane, right? So, this is 0. Similarly, point D. So, to reach this point D, we have to travel 0.4 meters along the positive x axis, 0.4, and then 0.4 along the positive y axis, and there is no need to travel in the positive z direction or the z direction, right? So, this is 0. So, these are the coordinates of point A, B, C, and D. So, now we can find that A, B vector. Right. So, to find that AB vector, we have to subtract the corresponding coordinates of point A from point B, right. So, we have to write uh, 0 minus 0 0.2 i that is 
जीरो पॉइंट फोर माइनस जीरो जे एंड जीरो पॉइंट टू माइनस जीरो पी and then this is that ab vector and then we have to find the ab magnitude right so we can this 0 minus 0.2 is minus 0.2 so i can write it is minus 0.2 i 0.4 minus 0 is plus 0.4 j and this is plus 0.2 k right so this is that ab vector and we can find the magnitude of this ab vector by using the pythagoras theorem right so we can write that this is 0.2 square plus 0.4 square plus 0.2 square and then we have to take the square root right so let me find this magnitude so this is 0.2 square plus 0.4 square plus 0.2 square so this is equal to 0.489 right so we can say that this magnitude is 0.489 right So now we can write this f vector. This f vector equals to two, and then we have to divide all of these components by this magnitude, right? So this is minus zero point two divided by zero point four eight nine i plus zero point four divided by zero point four eight nine j plus zero point two divided by zero point four eight nine. now when we simplify this so we get this f vector this is the magnitude times the unit vector and we we multiply this magnitude with this unit vector ab so we get this uh, f vector right which is required in this equation 1 right and similarly now we have to find this unit vector uh, along cd right this is unit vector so we have to write n cd unit vector and again this will be equal to cd vector divided by cd magnitude so in order to find the cd vector we have to subtract the corresponding coordinates of point c from the corresponding coordinates of point d right so we have to write it as this is 0.4 minus 0.4 i this is 0.4 minus 0 j and this is 0 minus 0.2 k right so this is plus 0 minus 0.2 k and then we can simplify this so this will become 0 i 0 times i this is 0.4 times j and this is minus 0.2 times k and then we can find its magnitude right so this is 0 square plus 0.4 square minus plus 0.2 square so we get 0.447 right so this magnitude is this magnitude is 0.447 right so then this ncd unit vector equals to and this is 0i right so this is 0.4 we can write it as 0.4 divided by 0.447j minus 0.2 divided by 0.447k right so this will be our ncd unit vector so this is that ncd unit vector along that uh, cd line and from equation 1 we we can find that fcd uh, projection right so this is our equation 1 so we can write that fcd that fcd the magnitude of the projection along cd line is equal to f vector times uh, the dot product with that ncd uh, unit vector right so this is f vector we will write it as minus 0.818 i plus 1.636 j plus 0.818 k dot product with this this vector this unit vector right so this is 0.895 j minus 0.447 k right so as we know the dot product right so i dot j will become 0 and i dot k will become 0 right so we can only multiply the corresponding components right we can multiply j with j since j dot j is 1 and k dot k is 1 right and all the remaining uh, multiplication will mul multiples will become 0 right so this is we can write it as 
636 into 0 0.895 right and j dot j will become 1 and similarly this is 0 0.818 into plus into minus will become minus and this is 0 0.818 into 0 0.447 and k dot k will become 1 right. So, this is uh, 1.636 into 0 0.895 minus 0 0.818 multiply by 0 0.447. So, this is 1.098. So, we can say that it is approximately uh, 1.099 and this will be in kilonewtons since this is in kilonewtons, right. This is in kilonewtons. This is unit vector, right. So, so we will have the projection magnitude in kilonewtons. This is 1.099 kilonewton, right. So, the projection of this force F which has a magnitude of 2 kilonewton along this CD line has a magnitude of 1.099 kilo Newton. And uh, further in the problem statement we are required to determine the angle of this force F with this CD line right. So, again from the dot product from this dot product we can write that F C D magnitude is equal to F vectors with the dot product with N C D and we can write that this will be equal to F magnitude and n c d magnitude cos of theta and theta will be the angle between this force f and that c d line. So, from this equation we can write that cos of theta will be equal to f c d magnitudes that we know already divided by this f vector magnitude and that n c d magnitude right. So, we have to find its magnitude right. So, n c d magnitude will be equal to 0 0.895 square plus 0 0.447 square and then we have to take the square root. So, this will be the magnitude of that unit vector along C D. This is 0 0.895 square plus 0 0.447 square. So, this is 1 right. So, 1 its magnitude is 1 right. So, now we can apply this equation. So, from this equation cos of theta equals to F C D and F C D is the magnitude of the projection of that force F along C D line which is equal to 1.099 right. So, this is 1.099 and the F magnitude is given which is 2 kilo Newton 2 multiply by N C D magnitude which is 1 right. So, this will be 1.099 1.099 divided by 2. So, this is 0 0.0.5495 and we can take cos inverse of this answer right. So, cos inverse of answer. So, this will give us that angle which is 56.67. So, this theta will be equal to cos inverse this value and theta equals to 56.67 degrees. So, in this particular problem we were required to determine the magnitude of the projection of that force F which has a magnitude of 2 kilo Newton along that C D line. So, that magnitude is 1.09 kilo Newton and that force F is making 56.67 degrees with that C D line. So, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope you people would have understood this particular problem.